Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zond Ta of Reaper Products. This screencast will showcase how to create a custom case work and use it in a particular project. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zan Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Revit 2017. Under the Recent Files window, if I click New under Families, I can pick Casework. Now, if you watched a prior video, one called Casework Wall Based, this one is creating a casework that is physically hosted by the wall and it only shows up if you have a wall. This one, which we're working with, is non host based, so it can be placed anywhere. We'll click Open, and you notice you already have a couple reference planes that help you define the front or the back, the left or the right, kind of gets you oriented. It gives you some parameters for the length and the width. Okay? And so if that's the back and this is the front, and we're at the reference level, we're at a top view looking down. Let's head over to the front elevation and type in Z8 to zoom all to fit. And you'll see you have a reference level and you have a height. Again, you have a reference plane for the top, <clears throat> a right, and a left. So if we want to build a simple rectangular piece of casework, it's nothing more than an extrusion. So I can start the extrusion command, rectangle, and then click this corner, click over here to this corner, and make sure you align and lock those faces to those reference planes. That way, when the reference planes move, they affect the physical geometry of the casework. We'll finish the command and we'll head back to a floor plan view. I'll shade it up so you can kind of see what you've got to work with. And if I select that, um, you can see the extrusion geometry we you've created. Well, you have a depth and you have a reference plane for the back and the front. You just need to move them into the correct position. So I can click and drag and lock that geometry face and this one as well <clears throat> to those. So if I were to make adjustments to the parameters for width and depth, either by left clicking and holding and dragging like this, if it allows me, if it doesn't, it's locking something in place. Or if you want to, you can just go into the family types window and make adjustments, say five, say a height of <clears throat> two, well, let's do say six, and a depth of uh, 1.5 feet. Hit OK, and it will make the adjustments in width and depth. If we head over to a front elevation, we can see that the height has also been adjusted as well because we changed the height to six feet and it's holding. So we know that <clears throat> our casework right off the bat is functioning properly as a simple rectangular extrusion. Let's make some adjustments real fast. We'll make the height, uh, say, three feet, four, and two. <clears throat> now I'm, I'm in the front elevation, so if I need to create an opening in this box to be able to host things and, and actually make it look like a piece of casework, uh, let's give it some thickness. So I'll create a reference plane for the left for the right, for the top, and the bottom. For we'll dimension to those planes, and then we will go ahead and select one of them and parameterize them and call it panel thickness. Now that we've done this, if we change that panel thickness to something we want, say a quarter inch, it should flex and adjust that particular reference plane. So we can take all of these other dimensions and assign it that same label, and they'll adjust. So now we can uh, either do one of two things. We can either modify this extrusion to have a sketch for the inside edge, if you will, or we can create a void extrusion and align and lock accordingly. Let's go ahead and select that extrusion and click Edit Extrusion, and then create another rectangle on the inside. Again, remember to align and lock those faces. And so in essence, you're just creating a thickness, if you will, and an open box inside. Hit the Create 
hit the uh, green check mark, and you're finished. Now, <coughs> because we did it this way, that extrusion is going to go all the way through. So if we go to a plan view, you're going to see that extrusion, and you may or may not want to have a back panel, if you will. So if you do the extrusion modification the way we did, you're going to have to create a panel for the back and a line and lock and make it look like a closed panel. Let's go ahead and modify this extrusion and get rid of the sketch that we did earlier, the inner lines. And now I'm going to head to the front elevation, and this time I'm going to use the Create tab and create a void extrusion instead. <clears throat> And again, using the rectangle. And again, aligning and locking. We'll finish it. We'll head over to the plan view. And you'll notice that that extrusion, which is a void extrusion, can also be modified and adjusted. We want a reference plane for the back to represent the thickness as well. And we'll dimension that and make sure that we also assign it that panel thickness. Now this extrusion can then be pulled and placed exactly where we need the back and the front. And if we look at this in 3D, you'll see you have a back panel already built and that void extrusion is cutting into the solid extrusion. So you have a simple box. Again, you can create the doors as separate families and load them in. and align and lock them accordingly. And then you can get into fancy things like uh, different family types and swapping one door for another door. Again, we can also assign material so we can select this object and go over to the associated parameter, family parameters window and create a new parameter for that casework. So we'll just say casework material and hit OK. Hit OK head over to the family types window and click inside for the casework material and just use wood oak for example. Now if we go to a realistic view you see what it looks like. We'll save this as a family and we'll call it custom casework 1. Now all we need to do is open up a new project or start a new project <clears throat> we can toggle back to our casework by using the control tab on our keyboard and then load it into the project. Because this casework is not host based, I can place it wherever I want in the project. So you don't necessarily have to have a, a wall, if you will. Um, but if you do, you can obviously take that and place it. You can also use the align command if you have to. Head over to an elevation view and then physically move it where you need to move it. You also can create height dimension parameter if you need to as well. But for the purposes of this simple screencast video, that's nothing more than a custom casework that you can physically place on the wall. Thank you very much for watching.